Hello. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, how we will be doing a um, data-driven test uh, using a SOAP UI. Well, for that, uh, we got to have uh, an API, a web service. So let's uh, first of all go and look for a web service uh, which is out there, which we could be using. All right. Um, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to bring up uh, my Internet Explorer, go and start looking for that web service. And for that, uh, there are a bunch of things we could be doing. Uh, either we could uh, Google uh, a free web service which is out there and then uh, use that web service. Uh, or um, if you have uh, access to our website, um, we have tons of web services which, uh, um, which we could be using uh, from our website called trainingright.net. So if I go to trainingright.net, Basically, what we have here is uh, we have a site uh, for our students. Um, once you are registered, then you would be given a, a, a username and password. The username is your um, home phone number or cell phone number, and password is uh, uh, the password which will assign you. So if you uh, had access uh, to our site, uh, you would go in there and then um, click on... Uh, the submit button after entering the phone number and password and then once you hit the submit button um you'd be getting in there and then basically this is uh, uh this is confirming who you are and we will be going in there and then clicking on that so over here we got a bunch of web services so i'm going to go and then take a look at, into this nasdaq web service uh, and uh this is uh, the operations we have for the nasdaq web service um now uh Again, depending on uh, if you have access to our website, uh, you could be using all of these web services. Air to Desk is a web service, another web service, commercial web services, uh, which we um, we give you access to tons of uh, these operations which you could be testing. All right. Um, okay. So let's get out and then uh, search for a free uh, web service. Uh, in order to search for a free web service, uh, you could... Uh, Either go to Google and then say, um, you know, show me some of the free web services, or I have uh, the URL of one of the web services which we could be using out there, which is a uh, web uh, service, web service x dot net. This site uh, basically hosts uh, a couple of web services. So um, again, we could be taking. Uh, one of the web services from here and then we could be using uh, that web service for whatever we intend to do with it uh, well there's a stock quote web service right um, and as you can see we have the schema for this web service uh, um, basically what it is going to do is uh, uh, get stock quote for a company symbol so when I click on that I could just go in there and then enter MSFT invoke and uh, basically it is going to give me some information about it like uh, Okay, it's Microsoft, and uh, the last uh, uh, trading value of that is 29.23, and um, we have uh, what was the date and time, and what was the previous close, what is the market um, volume for this particular uh, stock, and you know, stuff like that. So it is returning a lot of stuff. Uh, so going back in here, I could go and look into the schema of that by clicking over here. So if I click up. Uh, um, I could be in the visible file basically. The visible is uh, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, uh, it's right here. Um, uh, right here. So I could be taking this visible and looking into uh, what it it needs to expose. So here it is uh, all the information. So um, if you are in our course, we, we um, discuss all of these things uh right what what this soap uh, uh is basically doing what kind of uh, response uh we are getting depending on what kind of uh, request we send to the web service all right um so coming back in here uh, as a part of our data driven um test uh we will be going and we'll be looking into uh this currency converter so i'm going to be taking the currency converter um and uh trying do something with it so here i go uh i'm going to take that go into and open my uh soap ui once i open my soap ui 
I could go ahead and then create a project uh, based on uh, this currency converter API. Uh, now this currency converter is basically hold, uh, is being hosted. Uh, uh, it's a .NET web service being hosted from this website. Um, like I've been telling you, uh, these are some of the other web services or or, or the APIs which you have been um, you know working on as a part of our course. Um, all right, uh, let's go uh, create a project, and this is uh, going to be a data uh, driven test for our uh, currency currency converter converter web service okay all right so my visitor is going to be uh, whatever visitor we're gonna get from there so I'm gonna get started and uh, it is going to go and then get connected um, to that once it get connected uh, uh, by default um, as you can see I have uh, these two to um, APIs. I don't need the SOAP 1, 2. We talked about that. What is the purpose of that? So I don't need it. So I could just go ahead and then remove it. Um, so that's going to be out of here. So right now we have one operation in here. The operation is conversion rate. Um, so let's take a look into the request of that operation once I go and then double click on that. So I see that I have the request and let's go and uh, put a value in there and then expect some sort of response. Okay, um, if you look into it, uh, basically this uh, web service, after looking in, into the visual, uh, you would already know what kind of expectations would be here. Uh, the expectations here is uh, you would be, uh, the data which you are passing here is uh, you, from what currency to what currency. Let's say if I want to go from US uh, dollars, right, uh, to Great Britain pound, right, and then I go and then I uh, do that. Basically, it is, uh, as you can see, it is uh, 0.6364. Now, if I do the reverse, uh, meaning um, I want to find out um, if I, GBP, if I give you, if we convert from one um, uh, Great Britain pound to US dollars, I'm going to get uh, um, four one uh, British pound, I'm going to get a uh, dollar and 57 cents. So that's basically what it is. So if I um, say that from for one US dollar, uh, how many US dollars I'm going to get? I mean, of course, it's going to be one, right? So, um, um, what? Zero. So the, the, it basically it's the conversion rate. So uh, let's go ahead and then take a look into uh, Indian rupees. Uh, for one US dollars, what am I going to get as a part of Indian rupees? So today uh, I'm going to get uh, 49 um, rupees and 42 um, um, paise, right? 42 paise. Um, okay, so that's basically this uh, this web service is all about. Now, how are we going to go and then um, uh, do a data driven for this? So in order to do the data driven for this one, uh, first of all, I got to go and then create. Um, um, test suite. So I could go and create a test suite from here. Um, so I right click on that and say um, I want to generate a test suite for that. Okay, when I do that, it is going to come back and say, okay, uh, test suite, do you want me to uh, create it? Yes, we want to create it. One test case for each operation, right? And uh, then the operation right now is just that. Um, so, do you want to generate a load test? No, we don't. So, when I hit enter, it is telling me enter the name of the test suite to create. Uh, so, the currency converter SOAP test suite is just fine. Um, so, I'm just going to go and, and hit enter. And basically, what it is going to do is it had created this uh, currency converter SOAP test suite. And uh, what I get here is uh, basically if I expand that, uh, this is my uh, test suite. This is my test case, and if I expand that, I would have my test steps. Um, there's one test step by default, which it is going to give me, which is uh, um, basically this uh, request, right? Same request. So when I do that, basically this is my request, and uh, I could go in here and I could enter again from US dollars to um, is Canadian uh, CAN. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, whoa, we get uh, a false ring here. 
So that means basically what is happening here is uh, the false string which I got is because of the fact that uh, I entered the wrong information in here. So um, I could be coming in here and uh, entering the right information. Um, so let's say the information is uh, INR, that is the Indian rupee. So it is going to give me the right information. So when you enter a wrong information here, let's say there is no US dollar. So if I do UDS, let's say I just made a mistake, and then if I'm going to go again, you're going to see that there's going to be a, a, a soap fault because it is not going to return anything back to me. So that's a soap uh, uh, response error. So whenever a response error happens, you have what is called a soap fault. So we will be learning quite a bit in this course where we will be talking about how we're going to be doing some assertions. Now, assertions are... When you go in here, you could be creating any sort of assertions. I could go in here and I say that, okay, I need to create an assertion for, let's say, um, the soap, the soap fault. All right, hit OK. Now, in this case, there was a soap error. So my assertion turned out to be valid because there is an error. There's a soap error. So that's why it is turning out to be valid. Now, this assertion will fail if I go ahead and then fix my error. So my error would be USD and, and I run it right now. This assertion is going to fail because this assertion is saying that am I getting um, a soap fault? So no, you're not getting a soap fault. So that's why uh, this assertion, since it, it is not true, so it, it failed. Um, so um, as you can see, um, there are a lot of things in here which we could be doing. Now we were talking about the parameterization of that data. So for that, um, this uh, tool which you're looking at right now, this is the open source tool. And the open source tool for you to do the parameterization of data, you got to go in and then right click on that and then start adding steps. And these steps would be you would have to write a groovy script for that. Now, uh, rather than, you know, uh, trying to pull your head and write a groovy uh, script for it, um, you, you got to go and then take a look into the pro version. And the pro version, basically what you got is uh, uh, the ability to uh, create a data-driven um, test for a SOAP web service uh, is going to be like a breeze because it's just a matter of like clicking, um, you know, and creating a data source. Uh, and once you create a um, data source, point it to either an Excel sheet where you have your data uh, residing or to a database table, and you're going to be bringing the data into um, the the test. And once you get the data into the test, in order for you to execute that. Uh, you just have to add one more step, which happens to be a data source loop. And once you add the data source loop, um, then you are all set. You're all ready to rock and roll in terms of doing a data-driven um, test for a web uh, service uh, API. Well, if you really are interested in seeing as how we do all of uh, those things, uh, then uh, we request you to go and take a look into um, uh, our website, which is trainingbright.com, and uh, we got tons of courses here. We just started a course in January for a, a online SOAP UI course, uh, and it, it happened to be like a super hit. Uh, we got tons of response, a lot of people from all over uh, United States and Canada, and uh, we got students from far uh, off countries like Australia and New Zealand attending this course uh, because the course is... Uh, extremely extremely um, uh, you know cost effective because we're just providing this course for 349 um, and equal uh, in equally uh, in terms of the content uh, 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 you know the course which is being provided by the competition for the uh, for the same content is uh, almost four to five times more than what we are providing here so that's the reason we had a mad rush um, for this course and uh, we appreciate that so if you would like to go and take a training in uh, soap ui which is a web service training um, do take uh, a look at our uh, site trainingright.com and if you have any questions do give us a call we are in uh, a new york uh, new jersey area our phone number is 732-998-6650 you could find our phone number right here up on the top um, as you can see here um, so do give us a call or write uh, an email to us uh, inquiring about the future courses. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching this video and we hope to see you back uh, in uh, 
another video um, presentation from trainingright.com or better yet if you could be a student of our uh you know one of our courses all right thank you